American Express has had some recent changes to three cards that I love. These cards are the Hilton Honor cards. Um, you have the American Express Honors card, you have the American Express Surpass card, and then you also have the American Express Aspire card. And they've had some major changes, right? A brand new look that honestly doesn't leave people confused because I can tell you my wife was very confused seeing these cards and how close they are. It's just a slight color. And actually, I think I might have just gotten them confused. No, I didn't. Um, but, you know, she saw the colors and she saw the um, design of them and she was just like, wait, is this the same card? I thought I just downgraded this card. And I was like, no, they just kind of look the same. And now you have the difference between what is the basic card and what are the other, you know, two levels. So um, there are a lot of changes, maybe some for the good and some for the bad. And I want to go through a lot of these changes with you guys to break all of this stuff down for you. Hopefully you guys can hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you maybe find some value in it. Let me know if you do find value in where these are at right now, because I know it can be difficult uh, to have any type of changes to cards that you know and love. Um, yes, you know, you're going to have a certain, uh, you know, period, grace period. So it's not something that's changing automatically. But as you do have a renewal, that's what you will see happen. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Uh, also, I'm currently doing a giveaway. It may not happen, um, you know, if you're watching this in the future. It may not um, be available because once we hit 2,000 subscribers, that's where we are going to have that giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment on like recent videos and you'll be entered to win uh, free cryptocurrency. So feel free to enter that giveaway, hit that subscribe button. But let's talk about what this is all about because again, these cards have had like a new facelift have had, have had a, a lot of changes. So we're going to go through the cards and look through them. And then we're going to basically navigate through um, where we are, annual fees, different rewards, um, changes within um, those cards that we do see, and ultimately break down exactly what all the changes are as we go along. So currently, these are what the cards look like, right? If you look at uh, what you did have before, actually, let's let's bring this back. If you look at what you did have before, you know, you really had like these cards, like you see the design of these cards, and how they are pretty similar. Same thing goes for the Aspire card. Now it did have the Aspire card did have a completely like different look and it. it looked a little bit more luxury and you know, felt a little bit more luxury. But as you look into these cards, you really just have like the the white card, um, you have the um, the blue card and a little bit darker blue. You can tell the difference between those, but if you are, um, you know, maybe a little bit difficult with colors, it may still be uh, difficult for you to to see the the difference that's there, um, unless labeled. Now, the good thing is, is that you have the difference between um, the two that most people will downgrade to, where you have the surpass and you have the um, Hilton honors card. So the Hill Honors card uh, still has a $0 annual fee. The annual fees have increased for the other two cards. You do see that the annual fee is at $150 for the Surpass card, which previously was $95. Um, and you also have a $555, a $550 annual fee instead of the $450 annual fee for the Aspire card. I, me personally, I was never the largest fan of the Aspire card, but if you are a person that travels and you were able to get a lot out of the benefits, whether it is, you know, the, um, the Hilton, uh, resort credit or the, the, uh, airline credit, you can basically get a ton of value out of that as well as the free nights and all the things that did come with it. Now they still have, as you look at the, uh, revamp cards, you have an increased bonus to a lot of them. So a hundred thousand, um, you know, uh, Hilton honors bonus points. Um, when you spend 2000 on the Hilton honors card, you have 170,000 Hilton honors bonus points when you spend 3000 on purchases. And then you have 180,000 points when you spend, uh, 6,000 dollars um, in purchases so they up the rewards as you have those limited time offers because of the revamp cards because of the people that may see value in a lot of those points it kind of gives you the the tester right you're testing to see if this does work for you 
Now, when it comes to uh, different rewards, now you are getting uh, 7x on Hilton Honors. That hasn't changed. You have 12x uh, Hilton Honors bonus points on the Surpass and then 14x on the Aspire card. If we go into some of the details when it comes to how much you get back, um, you are getting 7x back uh, each dollar spent that's uh, charging your card through Hilton um, Resorts, 5x back on uh, Hilton Honors bonus points when you uh, spend at U.S. restaurants and at supermarkets, the 3x back on all other purchases, and then this, the Surpass card, you're looking at 12x on uh, Hilton Resorts, you're looking at 6x on on U.S. restaurants and at supermarkets and at gas stations. Um, and then you're also seeing uh, 4X, which is brand new, uh, 4X on online retail purchases. They do have 3X on everything else. So that's an addition that you are seeing to the Surpass card for that increased annual fee. Now, uh, you for the Aspire card, you're seeing 14X on um, you know Hilton Resorts, 7X, um, on flights booked directly through airlines and Amex Travel um, and also U.S. restaurants. And then you're also seeing um, 3X on everything else with this card. So really all you have had was the change within this new um, you know, online retailers that does give you a little bit extra back. But is it worth an extra $55? I mean, you can be the judge for that. Um, you do have complimentary uh, silver status with the um, main or the uh, lowest card. Then the middle of the road, you have um, the gold status, complimentary gold status, and then diamond status that you still uh, do see over there. Um, some changes that we do have um, with this. So for the Hilton um, Aspire card, a lot has changed when it comes to the credits. So the credits used to be a $250 uh, resort credit, and then you had a $250 airline credit. That has recently changed to a $400 Hilton resort credit that will be broken down into two increments or uh, two spending periods of six months, and you have $200 per six months, meaning that they're splitting it up, basically saying, look, we want you to stay in hotels multiple times. It is more than what you saw there. It is way more than what you had previously. So increasing the annual fee is looking uh, more tasty to a lot of people, right? Yes, you can't use the all the credits at once. So you can't use the $400 all at once, but you can use about $200 of it, which is basically around where it was. You're only $50 off what it was, and then you're getting another $200 on top of it. So honestly, it's not bad at all to see that. And you're getting a $200 flight credit. The only thing with this is now you're breaking this up into um, increments of four. So you're spending $50 per quarter. So it's it's not something where you have it all at once and you can use it all at once. You also get $189 clear credit with the Aspire card that will give you a little bit more benefits. And uh, another change that I did see that was interesting to people that do spend a ton, right, that um, do stay or want to stay at multiple resorts and have more free nights, you you get one free night with it and you get an increased uh, another free night once you spend 30K on the card and then you get another free night when you spend 60K on the card. So that's something that, that has uh, recently changed that is an update. But ultimately, um, when I look at the uh, basics of this information, are these warranted? Are these updates, are these increased annual fees, do they work? Do they fit your spending? Well, for me, obviously, I don't have to worry about an annual fee because I only have the Hilton Honors uh, Hilton Honors card. I don't have the Surpass card anymore because we don't stay in hotels that much. But if you are a person that travels quite a bit, you know, maybe the Aspire card does work for you for getting free nights, right? Because that could save you a ton of money if you have a lot of things that you go to and maybe you go to Vegas or maybe you go to another state and you have to stay in a hotel you know, you get those free nights if you find a Hilton resort, which there's a lot of different Hilton hotels and resorts. So honestly, with the changes, it doesn't look horrible. The only thing that I have a problem with, the only thing that I have a problem with is American Express can't, can't keep getting away with this. They keep giving you the credits and then they split it up into a certain amount of time because they want you to be able to spend something. It's kind of like you going to a store and getting like Kohl's cash or Old Navy cash or whatever it is, you you have to spend a certain amount in order to actually use that, and it gets you coming back. It gets you using it. 
And um, a lot of times they price those those items accordingly so that you do have to spend basically what you would normally spend or close to what you would normally spend, even without the cash. So uh, honestly, American Express is changing things to make maybe their situation better, but I don't think they necessarily needed to um, kind of one up the situation and have people forget about more and more credits because most people forget about the credits or don't use the credits and then you don't get the full value of the card. So basically they're giving themselves more on their bottom line as a credit card company, even though they made one point like six billion or something like that over uh, the last year. So, you know, they're making record profits and they're still increasing the annual fees and, you know, putting this in a situation instead of you using the whole thing, you split it into two increments, you split it into four increments. And as you have those, you do have a lot of times where you don't end up using it or you, if you don't use it, you lose it type of situations. So let me know what you think about the American Express um, Hilton Honors Card and the different changes that you do see here. Um, I think it looks a lot better. It looks a lot cleaner instead of, you know, you going with, um, these credit cards that are here, instead of you going with these right here, where you have, um, you know, the design that kind of looks similar and people get confused, especially people that are new to credit cards, they get confused. You have these new designs, um, that look really, really clean, really, really nice. Um, so let me know what you think about it. Is it worth it? Is the in increased annual fee worth it if you do get all of these other things? I feel like maybe the Surpass card uh, for me doesn't really seem like something that you're getting anything, you know, extra uh, on top of it when it comes to, um, you know, this brand new card. So for me, it's not really that that much because I don't really stay at Hilton Hotels as much, but the lower end card, not paying the annual fee really fits for me because maybe every other year I might stay at a Hilton uh, hotel and get the benefits or or have points that are left over, be able to use those points, things of that nature. So um, there have been changes. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I have missed anything because uh, sometimes, you know, as you're going through three cards, you tend to miss stuff, especially, you know, the way that I'm doing it rather than, you know, post editing and everything. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out, um, you know, any of my other channels that are across YouTube. But um, I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.